Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 before you buy video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Black Cat Bundle. So I'm going to get it right now and make it a good review. And hopefully, will help you to make a decision if this is something you want to get. Personally, for, for me, even without reviewing, I got to tell you, this cat is the selling point, which is an exclusive item to this bundle, by the way. So let's not waste time, jump right into it. Alright, so before I start to present all of the items that this bundle includes, let's just quickly take a look on what we have here. So essentially we have the uh, animatronic black cat, so you should be able to interact with it and should do something. Uh, then we got the skull candles, uh, this is more cool stuff for the Halloween decoration stuff like that, look at that. I don't hear, I don't speak, I don't see. <laughs> By the way, someone shared... Uh, uh, real real skull candles on our discord that was pretty funny <laughs> so over here we can see the cat we can see the skulls then we got the coffin stash box so I believe this is it right here this one is a closed version maybe that's the one we got for free uh, so we'll see which one's which uh, then we got the witch uh, cauldron cooking station another I guess it's a skin for our cooking stations which is actually pretty cool uh, then we got the Halloween sound effect effects box. That's the boo thing right here. And the laughing witch player icon, which is not shown here. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at that player icon, shall we? Alright, so by the way, here you can see uh, the laughing witch player icon right here. Uh, and if you want to buy it on its own, it's going to cost you 150 atoms. So it's included within the bundle so it's all good I'm not gonna like kind of accept it because you can see the player icon right here and I don't really care about it to be honest <laughs> not that big deal now we're gonna take a look at the cat because that's what we came here for alright so I found the cat and the cat is located in your floor decor uh, and a quick tip I mean not a tip I mean something that the witch cauldron is locked in the same thing, so apparently this might not be a cooking station skin, which kind of sucks. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'll get to that moment and we'll take a view. At the moment, let's take a look at this cat. So you can place the cat. How many cats you can place? Oh, you can place as many as you want? I don't see no limit. By the way, pay attention on how much budget it takes to place one cat. So let me find a spot for this cockroach. It doesn't take a lot, but there we go. So that's the cat in action. <laughs> that's pretty cool, you gotta admit. Man, you know what? Too bad you can't like uh, connect these cats, make a huge army of cats, and then click one button so they react at the same time. That <laughs> that would be actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm good with the cat. What's up? Hello. I'm gonna leave one right here. All right. Uh, so next we're gonna take a look at the carved skull candles. There's uh three options. Well, I was honestly praying and hoping that this is not going to be the case, but unfortunately it is the case. So you can find those candles at the light budget. So I mean the light section. And essentially, I think it's going to take the light budget. Yep, it takes out the light budget. Why? I don't think these uh, skull candles or whatever are going to deliver a lot of light. Unfortunately, I can't like kind of show it to you now because uh, it's daytime plus I don't feel that this is gonna be a big selling point so I think the cat is the selling point for this bundle to be honest and uh, all everything else is pretty much good to have and like at the moment while I'm building these things with you and kind of saving my first impression 
Uh, oh, you can see the the one do not speak has a small light. The one with closed eyes is a medium light, and the one with <laughs> don't hear anything has the biggest light. <laughs> Lol. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> but anyway, I don't think this is gonna be a selling point. And man, these things should have been like in the floor decor section or something, cause you know, uh, they they perform as decoration and not like. Uh, the actual light source unless if you're building some sort of a small cave camp or whatever and you don't have electricity there and just fill it up with candles and stuff like that by the way Mothman torches as well would be a, a pretty uh, decent idea I uh, believe they're locked in here yeah they go with one of those Mothman bundles so there we go and these things also come fr from like they take up the light budget you see which kinda sucks but still, it's a it's actually a pretty good idea though. Like to make a like a I don't know, a witch cave or something. Uh with with the only source of light as uh, fire, those candles and stuff. That that actually might be a good idea for some cam builder to build. I know we do have a couple of good cam builders in Zeke Lane, so you might want to do it. <laughs> Alright, what else do we have? The coffin stash box. Let's take a look at that, masterpiece. Alright, so I found the stash box in, at the stash box section. So what you should see first is the vault default stash box, right? And then if you have unlocked skins for uh, other options, like this is the um, the Raider content bundle that you buy for real money. It doesn't go to the Atomic Shot. This is a Settler version. I don't even remember where I got this. Uh, probably Daily Ops. I don't know. I'm lost. I don't remember where I got that. I don't really like buying stash boxes. But there you go. You got the coffin. It's closed. What if you interact with it? That was actually pretty cool. A stash box with some animation. Man, that's pretty cool. Man, keep it up with that thing a little bit more and you will be delivering us some camp items with a lot more animation. Like this is the supplier large crate that you can unlock by playing Nuclear Winter. You see just... Pshh. But that one doesn't make a decent noise. <laughs> my treasure. <laughs> you take my stuff, I'll haunt you for the rest of my eternal life. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> but not something you want to build somewhere in the open. Maybe uh, find some underground or secret door using a secret... I mean, a secret room using a secret door. Like I have that secret door with the Mothman sticking out, but in reality, there's no room. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a Season 1 door, by the way, if you did not know. Uh, I don't remember which rank you have to be in order to unlock it. I remember it's a, it was a very high rank. But anyway, let me get rid of that. And the next what we got is the Witch Cauldron Decoration and Cooking Station. Okay, let's go check it out. Hey, hey, hey! I was wrong! <laughs> so it is a, a skin for the Cooking Station plus... It's a decoration. You have we, so we have the first thing you can apply the skin uh, through the crafting section, right? That's where all of your crafting things are. So you build that thing right there, and it's also animated. Man, that is nice. And then you go to your floor decor, and you got some more options of building these cauldrons right here. So like, but these are these are like decor, I believe. So there we go. I've checked all other stations and I haven't found anything. Uh, there are no other visual options or whatever. Well, I mean, I checked everything, so this should be pretty good. So, oh, sweet! <laughs> so you can actually also turn it on. Oh man, that's pretty dope. <laughs> that's definitely cool. Look at that. And then we got... Wait, can you just sit on the chair? Nah. But during the animation. Boom. And you can start making your food and stuff like that. I, I don't have any food to make. 
I'm a mummy, man. I don't need food. I've been dead for thousands of years. <laughs> uh, the new version of Tomb Raider Fallout 76 style, you know. <laughs> well, man, okay, that's dope. I actually like it. I kind of decided to make a little different approach with my reviews for before you buy. I just go with the patch notes and try to keep my first impression. And I think that that, that freaking work is that that is that is crazy. That is good. That is really, really nice. <laughs> what else do we have there? The spooky sound machine. That's going to be the last one on our list. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I found it. But but there is a real bad thing. First of all, if you have a smoke machine, right, I just built one, right? You will not be able to build this thing. Why? I have no idea. Because it's definitely not a smoke machine. So if you have a smoke machine, you have to get rid of it. And only then you will be able... Hey. <laughs> Thank you for the follow on Twitch. <laughs> wow new recordings okay there we go so uh, that's it you place it so once you've built it you're not permitted to build any more of the like of the smoke machines that that actually really really sucks and I don't know if it's a feature or it's supposed to be like that but why not allow us to have our like Halloween machine right which makes bats flying out that's actually pretty cool with some smoke and at the same time, let's hear the music by the way. That's a long soundtrack. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, there we I gotta admit, kind of cool. I wish it was to be louder, and I wish it wouldn't take out the budget of the, the smoke machine because it would be really cool if I was, for example, let's assume the radio is playing with that horror uh, audio, right? And having like a smoke machine on at the same time, which you can get from another Halloween bundle, and you got these flying bats flying around with some extra smoke. Now, that would be cool, right? Unfortunately, it's not doable at the moment, so I'm not sure whether that is a feature of this game. You know, I mean, feature, right? Uh, or it's supposed to be like that. But anyway, I hope the shelters will change most of the parts of these things. I hope they're uh, going to be, a, well, there is going to be a bigger bu bad budget, but I really hope that they will allow us to display stuff and stuff like that, because as far as I heard in the last news, we won't be able to display our weapons or stuff like that. Plus, I'm really looking forward to those, you know, mannequins and stuff like that, because that, that'll be really nice to display, but it is what it is. Let's wait. What else do we have there? We ain't got nothing, because I already covered the laughing witch player icon in the first place. I don't even know why I put it in the first rotation, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> Well, in conclusion, man, it's a pretty decent bundle uh, with a lot of, I mean, I got a little bit of surprises over there, but yeah, it was pretty cool, and it's a decent price, what was that, 1300 I mean, uh, no hurry, this thing definitely will return at some point, and uh, hopefully maybe with some good discount, but if uh, you like what you saw and you're definitely going to be planning to use it, then you, m you might want to grab it right now, but it's all up to you to decide. Uh, when, how, how much, and stuff like that. That's why I did not comment on the prices too much. Because we all know they're a little bit high. <laughs> but anyway, 
Thanks all for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you want your comments to be read, make sure not to drop any F-bombs or any, you know, cuss words or whatever. Because nobody ain't gonna see it apart from me, man. And I, I read them, I delete them. <laughs> but anyway. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. Uh, if you get lost, there's a tutorial on how to use our Discord. Our Discord has grown over 750 members right now. And uh, we do have a couple of rules over there. So make sure to read them. Otherwise, you will get banned. I am strict. My mods are strict. Z Clan is strict. Don't mess with us. <laughs> Alright. And once again, thanks all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And you all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best. Z Clan! Z Clan! Yeah.